Hey guys and welcome back. We're going to go ahead and cover a few more questions off of the arithmetic reasoning portion of the ASVAB. So let's go ahead and dive right in and let's see what we can learn. Number one off the arithmetic reasoning of the ASVAB. It says if a hexahedral die is rolled two times, what's the probability of not rolling a five both times? So in this case, this right here might be our first catch up hexahedral. Don't let that confuse you. It's just a six sided die. All right, so that's just a vocab word they're throwing in there, but it's just talking a six-sided die. So what's the probability of not rolling a five both times? So that means neither one of the two rolls can be a five. So instead of looking at the probability of rolling a five, we need the probability of not. Well, there are six items on this die, one through six, and five of those six are not the number five. Now, that would be the probability of rolling not a five once, but we need to do this two times. And then by the multiplication rule with probability, we can just go ahead and multiply five over six times five over six, because that's the probability of not being a five the first time, not being a five the second time. So the probability of not getting a five both times is when we multiply those two probabilities together. So five times five is 25 and six times six is 36. So it looks like our answer here is D. So number two on the ASVAB says that Jack loaned Bob $1,500 at an annual interest rate of 7%. After one year, how much will Bob owe Jack? So here's the deal. It says an annual interest rate, which means they're only applying the 7% one time. Now, I guess that we're assuming that he's not paying any back here or anything like that. So essentially, we need to find out what is 7% of this $1,500, and then we need to add that to the $1,500 to find the new total that he has to do. So right off the bat, the only only one that seems like a reasonable option would be either C or D because of the fact that it's higher than 1500 like he's going to be given more than 1500 I can also tell you right now that like 7% is going to be far more than $7. So I'm almost 100% sure that the answer is C. But let's go ahead and do it out just so that you guys know what this looks like. We would be doing 1500 times that 0.07 because you do the decimal form of the percent. Well, seven times zero is zero, seven times zero is zero. Seven times five is 35, carry the three. Seven times one is seven, plus three gives us 10. So now that we had the decimal point two places over, we move it two over here, and we get an answer of 105. So 7% of 1,500 is 105. If we add that back to the 1,500, we do indeed get 1,605. Our answer here is C. So what's crazy for number three is you probably don't know this answer, but not because it's difficult, because you don't know how many pounds are in a ton. So it says here that a two-ton truck is taxed at a rate of 12 cents per pound. How much is the total tax bill? Well, if it's going to be at 12 cents per pound, we just have to multiply 0.12 by however many pounds it is. So how many pounds is a ton? Well, it turns out that one ton is actually 2,000 pounds. Well, okay, but we have two of them, so we're actually looking at 4,000 here. Now, we're going to still go ahead and finish out, as I said, multiplying that by the 0.12. So let's multiply by 0.12. Remember, no calculator on the ASVAB. 2 times 0, 0, 0 is going to give me 0, 0, 0. And then 2 times 4 is 8. Then 1 times all of those as well. Put the first 0, multiply those by the 3 zeros, and then we got a 4 on the end. So we end up getting... Move the decimal over twice. Looks like $480. So if I'm looking, adding this up, 480 is going to be our total bill for just the taxes. So that was 12 times this guy. So 480 is our final answer, adding straight down, meaning we're looking at A. So number four is a much more of like a math nerd type question than most of the ASVAB questions are. In this case, it says if AB is equal to 10 and A squared plus B squared is equal to 30, solve for Y in the equation Y equals A plus B quantity squared. So what the heck is this doing? Well, what they're trying to see if you know is not just guess and checking your way through this, but do you know what this would be expanded out? Well, in order to do this, we're actually doing A plus B times A plus B. That's what it means to square something. You multiply it by itself. Well, because of this distribution rule, you have to make sure you FOIL this out. What do I mean by FOIL? I mean multiply the first numbers first. So A times A would give us A squared. Then we have first and last 
would be A times B, so plus AB. And then we would have B times A, that's also AB, because it doesn't matter which order, commutative. And then B times B, which would be B squared. So all together, this is what we get. Now, here's the deal. They gave us these two, because A squared plus B squared is 30. And AB is 10. So we have 30 plus 10 plus another 10 right here. So our final answer is actually 30 plus 10 plus 10, which is 50. So we are looking at answer C. Number five on the ASVAB says a half pint of cream is what part of a gallon? Again, the issue with this guy is going to be the fact that you don't know the conversion rate between a pint and a gallon. And you can't Google it because on the ASVAB you're not allowed to use your phone. You're also not allowed to use a calculator. So how would you go about doing this? This is one of those facts that you just need to know if you are taking the ASVAB to get into the military. So in this case, let's just go ahead and start off there. One gallon is equal to eight pints all right now that means that if i had one pint that would be one eighth of a gallon but we don't have one pint we have a half pint meaning instead of having eight of these guys i have a half of it and then we have to redistribute to see like okay well then how much of a gallon is that and so forth there's two ways you could do this we know that one pint would be one over eight and we could actually multiply that by a half because that's what we have telling us that we have 1 times 1, which is 1, and 8 times 2, which is 16. You could also think of it as like, hey, if this is 1, 1 eighth is like how much of the gallon we have. Well, if we only have half of 1 eighth, just do 8 times that 2 to give us 16, so 1 16th. Either way, the answer is going to be C. That's what we got here. Hey guys, that's all we're going to cover for today, but remember, you can always click on any of these videos over here to help you keep studying for your next attempt on the ASVAB.